Hello, my name is Don Kerouac and I'm a Corporate Systems Engineer for the EMC Data Mobility Business Unit. And today I'd like to talk to you about Oracle Rack with VPLEX. Oracle Rack customers face a number of challenges in their environment. They're interested in minimizing the RPO and RTO. In fact, that's probably the reason they purchased Rack in the first place. They want to have the least amount of downtime. They want to maximize resource utilization. Licensing is expensive. They want to maximize those server, compute, and storage resources. And also, they want to make life easy for their administrator. They don't want to complicate the DBA's life and make him a storage admin. So what we have here is a um, typical Oracle Rack environment. Uh, in talking with Oracle Rack customers, we find that about 90 plus percent customers running Oracle Rack deploy it in a single site and then use array-based replication to push copies of data to a second site. Or they might use something called Active Active Data Guard, which just pushes the transaction to a standby database at a second site. Uh, the um, resources at one site um, are mirrored, or the, the transactions at, at site one are mirrored both locally onto disk. So each rack node is mirroring onto local storage. And in addition, um, the underlying array needs to push these transactions over to that side. So there's, there's a fair amount of mirroring and, and workload that's um, borne by each uh, node in the rack cluster. As I mentioned at the outset, the reason that people purchase or customers deploy Oracle Rack is because they're interested in the highest levels of availability. Oracle Rack is a peer-to-peer, -peer, shared everything type of architecture. That means if a node fails, if storage fails, if there's a failure out on the network, Rack will continue to run, and that's by design. What we're able to deliver with VPlex Metro, however, is something uh, slightly different. And what we're able to do is eliminate the host and array-based mirroring that you just saw and add VPlex to the picture. VPlex allows each rack node to connect to the same LUN. The rack nodes do not need to do any mirroring. They don't need to concern themselves with mirroring data to a second site. The underlying storage arrays down here also don't need to push any data to the other side. VPlex Metro is handling that entire job and greatly simplifying the infrastructure from a storage perspective that Rack sees. When deployed this way, Rack can also stretch the cluster across sites. So now the two nodes that I had at this site can be powered on at site two. So now here I'm able to run Rack. If I choose to, I could also run four at this site. But um, to keep the resources the same, I now have the same four rack nodes that you saw in the first picture, but I'm now spreading them across sites, protecting me against the situation where site A has a problem, or perhaps I need to do maintenance at site one. Everything can now non-disruptively continue to run or provide continuous availability at site B. So to review, the benefits to Oracle Rack uh, from VPlex Metro are as follows. One, zero RPO and RTO is now delivered across multiple data centers, taking you out of the situation where you have a single site failure that could take your whole Rack uh, infrastructure down. You're now using active, active resources across data centers. You don't have a passive standby site that's waiting for things to fail over to it or getting transactions sent to it but not really doing anything. You're eliminating planned and unplanned downtime. You're able to do tech refresh at the storage layer. You're able to make uh, changes to the nodes themselves while the cluster is running. And you're able to keep your applications up continuously. Finally, you've simplified the infrastructure between sites. Uh, by simplification, what we're saying is no longer do you need to merge fabrics or cross-connect hosts across data centers. If you have questions about any of this technology or anything I've just discussed with you, please contact your EMC sales rep or visit emc.com. Thank you very much.